Father's Day, what better treat for dad than to take in a ball game? The games at Angle Stadium were no ordinary trip to the diamond. For one afternoon, Civil War era baseball was alive and well in the scenic city. WDEF News 12's Webb Wright takes us on a trip back to 1864, and this spot is their report. Welcome to 1864. <laughs> We play 1864 baseball, so we play baseball as the rules were written in 1864. We like to line up on the field before and after the game and introduce the, introduce the players to the fans. We like to uh, give a little, little bit of background on the history of the rules. The game is simpler at that time. There's no gloves. We play barehanded. There's a few variations that make it exciting for the fans. This is a great part-time part pastime for us folks who like this. We have uh, period uniforms that we wear, and we try and bring a period attitude, meaning uh, uh, we play, try and play a gentleman's game uh, on the field. So that run is a Thank you. All right. We try and avoid arguing calls. I have to call it two outs. Okay. And, and uh, over, overly competitive attitudes on the field. Good luck to you. One of the old baseball traditions is nicknamed. Hound dog to the line! And a lot of the guys have, have either earned nicknames or been given nicknames. When there was a baseball game, the whole town would come out and they would make an event about it. So we're not just playing the game. There's a little bit of theater before and after the uh, game to sort of set the mood, set the, set the feeling of the uh, game in 1864. One in, You see a lot of reenactments in Civil War, especially here in Chattanooga. In these games, we don't know who the, who's going to win or lose. So congratulations to these guys. Hip, hip hoozah! Hip, hip.